My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Upon first glance, in Assassin's Creed Rogue, it appears to be the case that Shay betrays the Brotherhood. However, in this video, we are going to be discussing why the Brotherhood actually betrayed Shay and exploring the real reason behind Shay's defection. The earliest signs are right off the bat. In Shay's first interaction with Liam O'Brien. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. Early on, it can be dismissed as just assassin banter. However, if you look closely, it does appear to be somewhat of a belittling. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. Again, probably just banter, however, Liam is literally just saying that Shay doesn't have the skills. Early on, Shay seems pretty easy going, however, a build-up of all of this jabbing from his assassins led to the defection. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I made my own luck. Liam. Yep, if my assassin brother had a cringy line like that as his motto, I would probably bully him as well. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. More friendly, banterous assassin jabs, however, it's building up and it's building up quite quickly. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. This space, the... Where the hell were you two? We're out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? Shay definitely steps out of line considering the circumstances a little bit here. Mocking an angry Frenchman is a bad idea. It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? The French guy just bit back proper harshly, being fairly disrespectful in Shay's direction. It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. What he's saying is, I have a full name, I don't respect you enough to let you use the short version. Underling scum. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Quite an unfair comment considering that Shay's actually quite formidable in skill. It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. In Chevalier's eyes, Shay is nothing more than a lackey, a thug, or a henchman, and he's not afraid to openly express that disrespect. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier, but I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Whoa, that was friendly assassin banter, right? <laughs> Do notice how Shay wasn't the first person to resort to violence in this situation. This will come into play later on. I will teach you some manners for you. Okay, so we know that one assassin lacks respect for Shay, but if we go to the homestead, we might see more stuff that might make us think that Shay might feel a little bit underappreciated. So here we are at the homestead. Shay's gonna just go up and tr basically just rub up against Chevalier up here to see what he has to say. Aren't you supposed to be training? By this point, we can tell that Chevalier isn't the most polite of people. Even in tone, he seems quite rude to Shay. You are late. A simple hello would probably suffice. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shay abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Firstly, Hope is suggesting that Shay isn't very good when it comes to improving himself. Also, comparing Shay to cats gives you the impression that the other assassins don't really value Shay as much as they perhaps should. Hey. A pity the boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. Hope has daggers in her eyes. She probably means that. All right. All right. What would you have me do? All right, let's do the training with Hope. It's about time you showed up. Again, a simple and polite hello would be nice. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. What was that? And you're better. How polite of Hope to one-up Shay. What should we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. 
You two, make yourselves useful and watch Shay. All right, now let's complete Hope's task and see if she has any more snarky comments to add to the mix. You did better than I expected. Hope clearly doesn't think very highly of Shay either. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? Either Hope doesn't think very highly of Shay, like I said before, or she's just indulging in some friendly assassin banter. <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. The latter seems the most likely. Now if we go over and do Kasega Wase's training exercise. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. No insulting remarks yet at least. That's a good thing. However, can Kasega Wase really resist and just teach Shay as opposed to belittle him? And treat him fairly as an equal as opposed to an underling? you will demonstrate more skill to your other teachers. Now the statement seems fairly ambiguous to be fair. He could mean I hope you show more skill like this. However, what's most likely is he says, you haven't performed as well as I'd hoped. Please do better. Remove the manners and talk in a condescending way and you've got what's just been said. Now if we go over to where Hope is sparring with an assassin recruit, she'll actually make a comment. Don't you have other business? No one appreciates it when you are late. And you are always late. Bit of passive aggression. Now Shay and Liam are like best friends, so they're more banterous. And Liam appears to be the only one who responds to Shay's performance with some form of appreciation and kind words. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. Now that we've done the training exercises, we now go over and talk to Achilles. Shay. I hear you've become quite the marksman. No mention of his other two classes of the day, that's because Liam seems to be the only one who speaks highly of Shay. Giving you the impression that Hope and Kasega Wase weren't being banterous when they made their snide comments, and don't actually think very highly of Shay. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. Wait, were those manners? I will teach you some manners, boy. Either Chevalier was very, very good at teaching manners, which I highly doubt, or Shay was quite well mannered as is. Proving that Chevalier just thinks lowly of Shay. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts a manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Considering how Shay appears to be processing what's just been said, I get the vibe that he's just come to the conclusion that his assassin peers don't necessarily trust him. Which definitely does appear to be the case, especially in the next scene I'm going to show you. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake? Thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript! This cannot be. Already Achilles is denying that the assassins are in any way at fault for the earthquake in Portugal or Haiti. Shay, a person cannot start an earthquake! Hope is siding with Achilles over Shay and denying what has just happened to Shay. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents! How dare you! What they could do is try to calm Shay down and ask him what happened step by step, but no, they get hostile, verbally speaking. You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell's knew. going on? Stop this! Now Liam comes in, Shay's best friend, and immediately turns to Shay and tells him to stop. Nobody in the room at the moment is stopping and thinking, maybe he has a point. The operation was delicate. Perhaps you are- Before Achilles was interrupted there, he was about to pin it on Shay for what happened and blame his skills, as opposed to asking what happened again. Shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. What they should have done is asked what happened, but what they did was cast Shay out of the mansion and just believe that they are somehow still in the right. Not once acknowledging that their actions had caused an earthquake, which in turn had killed thousands of people. Blaming Shay as a scapegoat. 
or denying that the earthquake was not natural. Knowing that the assassins would probably try again if they found another precursor site, Shay decided that he would get rid of the manuscript. Not necessarily trying to portray the assassins, but at this point save them from their stupidity. There's no turning back now. At this point, Shay hasn't necessarily betrayed the Brotherhood. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Maybe we should rewind a bit and ask Shay what happened and why he has to do this as opposed to what is it he's doing exactly. Stealing from your brothers. If Achilles had listened to Shay, he'd know that Shay was saving the Assassin Brotherhood from its own ignorance. Betraying me. Not necessarily a betrayal, but assassins have never really been the most understanding of people. Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. Here we see Achilles again dismissing what Shay had just experienced over in Portugal. Which, if he'd listened to Shay, he would find out that his interference with the precursor site created an earthquake that literally destroyed Lisbon. The future of the whole continent Maybe the whole world is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right! We have the responsibility! Please do bear in mind that Achilles is still ignorant to the true meaning behind these precursor sites and still wishes to interfere with them. We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! Like I brought up earlier on in the video, not too dissimilar from Chevalier, Shay was not the one to initiate the violence here. That actually was his assassin peer. I'm not saying it wouldn't have escalated to violence anyway had Achilles not attacked, but there was a chance this could have been a little bit more civil than it was. Stop him! Stop Shay! Now the assassin lackeys think Shay is a traitor, when in reality in his mind he's just trying to do the right thing. Please bear in mind that Shay is now trying to escape the assassins who are hunting him down despite not listening to his side of the story. Had the assassins actually listened to Shay and trusted him a little bit more, they'd understand that those plans were completely ridiculous. The assassins all seem to be siding with Achilles over Shay, even though Shay is more versed in the capabilities of these precursor sites than Achilles is. That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> Not very nice assassins, he was about to kill himself, there was no need to shoot him unless you wanted him gone. It seems as if the assassins were going to get rid of Shay as opposed to cover up their involvement with what happened in Portugal. How incredibly clever. They were going to get rid of Shay for being a loose cannon because they didn't trust him and now he has this exclusive knowledge of what the precursor sites are capable of when used incorrectly, but even still they don't seem to believe what Shay saw. Even at this point, Shay doesn't seem to have any intentions of becoming a Templar, but Shay's ties to the Brotherhood have definitely been severed by this point. Of course now Shay is going to become a Templar or he's going to hunt down the assassins either way because he needs to stop them from whatever they're going to do with the precursor site if they ever find one, which they most certainly do later on in the story. But considering Shay survived the assassin's sort of cover-up, he now had to take more extreme measures that he didn't want to take in order to stop the assassins from meddling with the precursor sites. However, I don't think up until the point where he got shot was defection really in his mind. Even then, it probably wasn't on his mind up until the point where he actually gets offered. And with the skills of an assassin and the resources of the Templars, Shay's going to find it a lot easier to be able to stop the assassins from killing more innocents if he sides with them, which is exactly what he does. And of course, feeling betrayed by the assassins, which he arguably was, 
he probably would have been out for a little bit of justice of his own. But the reason why Shay defected was because the assassins betrayed him, and then he had to stop them from doing something that they could have easily avoided had they listened to him, however they did not trust him and they did not value him, thus meaning that they'd failed him. But had they trusted or valued him, they would have listened to what happened, they would have, he would have told them, and then maybe it all could have been avoided, and the assassins wouldn't have needed to be killed by Shay as a Templar. But considering how stubborn the assassins actually are, I doubt Shay would have been able to convince them to sway off of their path, thus leading to this. Shay defected because he had no choice. The assassins chose to ignore and fail him, and he had to stop them from their own stupidity. Otherwise, many more people would probably have died. But there you have it everybody, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. This video was a test, if you want me to do more videos in this style, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to do more. But be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share, comment and I'll see you all soon, see ya. So, yeah.